okay so in this video I'm going to demonstrate how we can set up web God web wolf on Amazon web services okay so here is the process how we are going to achieve this so step number one we are going to create an EC2 instance then we are going to install a docker on EC2 instance and then we are going to pull our docker hub image of web God and web wolf through our EC2 instance okay so then after that we will run our container and in our EC2 instance and our web god and web wolf be up and running and we can easily access that so this is the easiest and very efficient way to set up our web god and web wolf on Amazon EC2 okay so we can uh, also set up in other ways uh, but that are a little complex right in my previous video I have also uh, demonstrate how we can set up on Ubuntu uh, and there I need to set up and I have configured my some back and background configurations for my web code but right now uh, we are going to use docker uh, on EC2 and we will easily set up our web code and web code. okay so enough talking let's just jump into practical work so just go to your EC2 instance and our first step is just to create an EC2 instance so click on EC2 uh, you can find it here or you can just click on this little triangle and you will find the EC2 here so just click on the EC2 in order to access the EC2 dashboard and there we will create an EC2 instance so our first step is to create an EC2 instance so while creating an EC2 instance we need to keep that mind that our web god and web wolf uh, listen on port 8080 and 9090 respectively right web god listen on port 8080 and web wolf listen on port 9090 so in order to uh, cre while creating our EC2 instance we need to set up our security groups uh, so that our web god and web wolf can listen or can be accessible okay so our first step is to create an EC2 instance so go to EC2 instances and here we will launch instances so click on launch instances the first select the Amazon Linux 2 AMI the first one the default one select it and here we need to choose instance type so we are going to choose a free tier instance type which is t2 or micro and we will click on next configure instance details button then we need to specify configure instances I will I am going to leave it as default and here is the part uh, I can set up uh, as I said previously that I want to install docker on my city instance I want to uh, I want to pull my web god okay and uh, I can whatever I want to install on my city instance I can type all the commands here in this section but now right now I'm not going to type it here I will just manually type it after uh, creating my city instance I will SSH to my EC2 instance I will manually create I will install my docker and web god, web god and web wolf so, okay so there is an option that we can type all the commands here and it will be automatically installed so I will cover this in second part okay uh, in this video second part of this video okay so right now I'm going to leave it default and click next add storage and here we need to specify storage if you want to increase you can then click add tags here you can type the name of your instance so I am going to type it uh, name is web god ec2 okay web sorry web god ec2 test okay so this uh, this is going to be the name of my ec2 instance next this is the important point that when you are creating your EC2 instance keep in mind that you need to create new security groups in order to access your web god and web wolf from anywhere okay so by default there is an SSH security group uh, enabled and we need to add new role and that will be custom TCP uh, okay custom TCP role and here we need to specify our port number 8080 as you know that I have already told you web god listen on port 8080 so we, we have to change the source to anywhere so that we can access our web god and web from anywhere uh, from any device then we need to uh, add another custom TCP role 
which will be listen on port 9090 and that is for our webwolf so we can we can set it anywhere okay so this is the most important part that when you are creating ec instance make sure that you add two custom tcp role port 8080 and port 9090 and select the source as anywhere and click review and launch so you can view all the configuration that you have set and click on launch button and here if you have already your key pairs if you are already using your ec2 instance you have you may have some uh, your key pairs so you can uh, if you don't have you can create a new one but i have already my key pair downloaded so i'm going to choose an existing key pair which is uh, going to be okay so in this region i don't have uh, so in this region I don't have so I have to create a new one so let me create a new key pair and I will name it new web got key pair okay so this is going to be my key pair to connect to my EC2 instance and I'm going to download it new web got okay uh, key pair so i'm going to launch instance so this is the process through which you can create your ec2 instance and you can set up the security groups so now we have to wait for our ec2 instance to be in running state so right now it's in pending state okay so when it will be in running state we will run our commands on our ec2 instance in order to install our docker and then we can install and pull our docker uh, web god and web wolf image from docker hub and then we can run our container so as you can see that the instance stays is running so i can uh, connect to my oh it's still saying pending i need to go back and i need to refresh it so that i can access it okay so now it's in running state i can click on this connect button here and i go to sss client and i copy this example so as you can see i have already downloaded my new webgodkeypair.pem file so i will go to my download folder here and i will open up my terminal and i will paste this command here so make sure to type the sudo in the beginning of the command so that you can access it so let me type my password okay <coughs> so it will take a little time one or two minutes to connect to our ec2 instance maybe more more or less let's wait okay i need to type yes okay now now i am connecting to my ec2 instance through my terminal in ubuntu so i am actually SSHing to my ec2 instance so when i will be able to uh, SSH into my ec2 instance as you can see i i have already so now I can access my EC2 instance in my terminal. So what I need to do, I need to first update the Linux. Okay, so the command is yum dash y update. Okay, so we have to update. Uh, need to be root. Okay, uh, it says I have to type sudo yum update. Okay. Uh, properties updated no, no package not far away okay so it is already updated now the first command is I need to install the docker so I will type yum install docker okay so it docker will be installed okay you need to be root okay I need sorry I need to type the sudo command don't forget to type the sudo command in order to run your command so as you can see my docker is being installed i need to type yes and now it's pulling docker and docker will be installed in a while so after installing the docker what i have to do uh, i have to pull okay so i am actually using these commands first i have i updated my ec2 instance then i installed the docker okay then what i need to do i need to start the docker in the background of uh, my ec2 instance okay i will copy this command in order to save my time so let's just type this command and now docker is uh, running in the background of the ec2 instance then i need to pull my web code and wolf from docker hub okay 
so just type this command in your terminal which is sudo docker pull webgot forward slash god and wolf and hit enter okay now it's putting the image from docker hub and uh, that will be installed in our ec2 instance and the last command that i, I am going to run is this uh, now this command is uh, for running our container which we have recently pulled from docker hub okay so we need to as you can see that uh, my all uh, my that image is uh, pulled from docker hub now i'm going to run this uh, in container in docker okay uh, why it's not okay just a second okay yes it's it's working so now i'm going to run this command sudo docker run dash p at at now at at for web god and then i need to run 1990 for web wolf okay uh, now i have typed two times let me cancel it and type it again sorry i just have to type one command so the command is sudo docker run dash p at then 1990 and then i have to specify the time zone and then i need to specify the docker uh, image that i have recently pulled from the docker hub so this is the whole command from this to this one so actually it is taking a little time because my internet is slow a little bit so then i will run this code come on come up i don't know why it's taking too much time it should not let me cancel it and clear the screen okay and then i need to type my command again so actually okay no problem I need to copy this command again and I am going to type this command here okay so this is the command sudo docker run dash p8890 and time zone and then our container image and I'm going to run it now our container is being running okay so after this everything is set up now what I'm going to show you when this will be up and running we can access our web code and web wolf which is installed on our ec2 instance very easily through our public dns uh, no, ds ip as you can see here let me just show you uh, go to your ec2 this is our ec2 instance which i have recently created right now so i will just uh, copy this public ip4 dns address and then i can access my uh, web code and web wolf now as you can see here our container command is running and it says org.webs webgod start webgod so our actually container is run on ec2 instance and our webgod and webwolf is live now we can easily access so how can we access just copy this public ibv4 dns okay and then go to any browser your browser tab and paste that link here after that as I mentioned that our web got listen on port 8080 so you have to type colon at the end of the link then type 8080 then forward slash and type 980 uh, sorry web got because I'm going to access web got so make sure that uh, W and G are capital okay so hit enter okay so let's see either we can access our web got or not hopefully we can actually my internet is a little slow oh great as you can see that our web got is up live and running on our ec2 instance which we have recently created this you can see how easy it is this is just three commands like just install the docker on the ec2 instance then install then you can start the docker in the background then you can pull the docker uh, sorry web code and web wolf image from docker up and then you run the container that that's it and then you can easily access from anywhere from any browser okay now you can register yourself and you can work on web code and if you want to access your 
Webwolf, then you can paste the same link and type colon at the end and type 1990 forward slash Webwolf. Okay, in order to access Webwolf. Okay, hit enter and we can access Webwolf too. See, everything is up and running. So this is very simple. How we can set up our Webgot and Webwolf on Amazon, Amazon Web Services. Very easy. So I hope you like it. Thank you so much.